Hey, what's going on, guys? And welcome to an episode of Clash of Clans. Sorry, I've been uploading lately. It's been very busy working on a new series that will be coming up this summer. Uh, Crafting Dead series with some people. And uh, basically, the giveaway will be this Saturday for me um, in Ohio time. And um, as you all see, we have 648 trophies. Um. <laughs> My all-time best was in the gold league too, but I've decided to drop down because it's actually I'm trying to go for zero trophies. So real quick, I'm gonna show you my little strategy. So you get some goblins, very cheap to get, efficient for getting loot, and basically elixir and preps very hard to get. <coughs> but the lower the level you are, the easier it is to get. Watch. So if we go into a little battle. Oh yeah, look at this guy, just a little bit of loot, you know, not too much, you know. But, um, this base isn't really good for looting, you just send one in, you can leave. Oh, your trophies, it's alright, you find a good base every now and then. You just lose 60 elixir, but you mostly get more elixir out than you lose. Because most of these bases are young. Um. Once again, not a good base, but you want to keep trying to lose more trophies, because the more trophies you lose, the easier it's going to get to find loot. And so... A base like this probably wouldn't be good for looting. It's good for doing like this, and leaving. <coughs> so, um, I'll bring us right back when I have found a good base. Okay, y'all, we are back, and this is a good base to loot right here. 3,000 elixir, good to make more goblins. What you do is you send in just a few goblins on the lid. I'm like, use our barbarian king, because what the heck, it's not like he's going to die. Let's send the horde of goblins in. Not too many. Oops, uh, we wait to the barbarian king got a little bit of health, and that's when we're starting to this thing. Once we get all the uh, gold or elixir, we're almost up. So basically, then you just stop. You just stop. You gain a lot of elixir, and then you can make more uh, goblins, and then the more goblins you get. As you see, I just keep doing this, I'm trying to make a goblin army, and then once I do that, that's when I'll probably do a big massive attack. So yeah, so basically, uh, 5,000 elixir, we'll send just a few goblins. I have some of the elixir, yeah, good. So, oh, forgot to push my nose. Like, so we got a little bit of elixir, not too much, but hey, enough to get more goblins. Like I said, in the long run, it's a lot, oh, the archers. In the long run, it's a lot easier to get goblins. <coughs> right here, we shouldn't get locked up. Anyway, so let's try out the yards. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, this base could seem easy to listen to Bard King. Can I lock onto my barbarian king? It's not like you're gonna do much damage. Leave my little goblins alone. So I think this guy's gonna be some good loot. 131,000 elixir will do us amazing. You know, dark little babies. Oh, yeah. 
for some reason, whenever the Barbarian King uses his punch, it doesn't do much damage. It's the sword that does the most damage. It's so strong. You might not get the three star, but once I get all this elixir, that's what I'm doing. Because the elixir is the key to this. You want the elixir and any gold that you pick up. As you see, look at that loot. You gain lots of loot because the lower trophies you go, a lot of people don't try to set up the good defenses. So basically, it's all the gold. Basically, everything's dark. So you just see, we got 240,000 dark, or just regular elixir. And we'll be trying to upgrade something, either my something in my laboratory, or maybe we could try to get hog riders. Um, wait a second, wait, 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 wait a second, oh my gosh guys, we are so close to getting hog riders, I say, I'll be, um, I'm gonna do a few more raids and crap, so I'll probably come back when I get my giant goblin army ready. And until then, I'll see you soon. We are back, guys, and as you see, we have 130,000 luster. We can actually upgrade um, our balloons or our heels spell again, and it'll only be max, but I don't want to do that. <coughs> I want us to get hog riders. So in five days, we will have hog riders, and that would be amazing. Now we're down to solo, meaning we'll have to do no raids and crap. Um, my goblin army's almost ready. I probably won't do any big major attacks. And I also need to brew another heal spell. Which is gonna kill me because they're gonna take so long. And I keep spinning goblins, but it's so good and loot. So, yeah, guys. Um, I'll be right back again. And when I'm back, it'll probably be time for the goblin army. And, <clears throat> and we are back. And welcome. And we have a good army. We have. 180 level 3 goblins, 3 heal spells, and a level 5 barbarian king. And so let's attack someone in almost 0 level. Um, not a good amount of elixir. I want. Oh, I want more. No, so guys, I'll be right back when we find a big one. Because we found the perfect base, it has 203,000 elixir waiting for us to steal. So we'll drop a, uh, let's see, we'll probably drop a heal spell here. So The little monsters will go in. No, I don't want to face that last one spot. Yeah, guys, the little goblin ones are making their way across, picking up little bits of food as they go. <coughs> Boy, let's keep going. Oh, we got more weapons. The archer tower dead. Barbarian King gonna die. But look at that loot. That is from being in a little, little arena. Look at this four. Look at all that gold. We could do some serious wall upgrading or something. Ooh, we could save to upgrade to Town Hall 8. Tempting. <coughs> Probably getting our Dark Electric Pump or. 
Oh, I should have updated my dark elixir. But at least finally we'll be able to get some stuff. So hope you all enjoyed this video. <coughs> if you did, leave a comment. And if you enjoyed, well, leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit that little notification bell. And remember, if you subscribe and comment now, you will be entered in the giveaway.